All right, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, completing the square, um, you guys can see basically all we're going to be practicing doing is writing an equation in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which the problem's in. And what we have only talked about graphing is when a quadratic is in the form y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. The reason why we want to write it in this format is because the vertex is very obvious to identify. The vertex in this case is going to be h comma k, right? That just tells you where the new vertex is. And then a, remember, tells you if the graph opens up, tells you if the graph opens down, tells you if there's a compression or a stretching, right? So we like it when it's in this format. So one way to go ahead and graph that, we're, that we talked about last class period is to complete the square. And basically, you guys hopefully wrote down those steps that I had. I'm not going to rewrite them down because it's going to take a little time. But I will say them out loud and basically follow the process. The first thing you do is you group the first and the last term. Okay? So if you didn't do this problem, I'd highly recommend that you write this down step by step. So we write down, we group the first two terms. The second thing is we factor out a common factor if a is not equal to 1. So a is your coefficient of your x squared. Well, you guys can see there is a 1 in front of the x squared, right? There's, it's not being multiplied by any other number, so it has to be 1, right? So therefore, I don't need to factor anything out. Don't factor out the x. We're only factoring out a number, so a is equal to 1. Step number two is find the value that completes the square. This was done in your previous homework. So I feel pretty confident that the majority of students should have been able to at least do this, which you're just basically just going to do 16 divided by 2 and then square it. Please note that b is 16, not 16x. b is the number in front of x. Yes? We're going to talk about that today. It's different. No, it's no, it's wrong, but it's not wrong in what we'll be using. We'll be using that formula today. For completing the square, it's b divided by 2 squared. OK? But we're going to talk about what your friend told you today. We're going to talk about that today. So it's opposite of b divided by, b divided by 2 squared. And that gives you 16, right? Because 16 divided by 2 is 8. And 8, divided, 8 squared is? 64. Would everybody agree with me? Yes? No? Good. OK. So now, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to add that number inside of our parentheses and then subtract it outside of our parentheses. That was the next step. So y equals x squared plus 16x plus 64, then plus 64, and then minus 64. So since you have an equation, right? If you guys remember when you're solving equations, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side, right? So this is a tough that I, I wanted to explain to you guys. If you guys had x plus 5 equals 12, if you were to solve this equation, you would use the subtraction property of equality, meaning whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Would everybody agree with me? Yes. All right. But in another case, what if I had 5 equals 5? Oh, wait. Hold on. So that gives you x equals 7. So do you guys agree with me that x equals 7 and x plus 5 equals 12? Those are equivalent. They're the same. Yes, they're equivalent equations. They have the same value for x. Everybody agree with me? Well, let's say I gave you another equation. Let's say I said 5 is equal to 5. Well, if I said 5 plus 1 minus 1 equals 5, if I do the opposite operations on the same side, does that still produce an equivalent equation? Is this still going to have the same value as that? Yeah, because what's what, 5 plus 1 minus 1? Still equal to 5, right? So those are equivalent as well. So what I'm trying to tell you is if I'm going to add 64 on, for this equation on the right side, I have to subtract 64. Does that make sense? Now, now what we do is we simplify this. And this was also in your previous homework. If you guys remember, we had x plus b divided by 2 squared. So we go back and we say, what was b divided by 2 squared? 16 divided by 2 was 8. So you do x plus b divided by 2, which is 8. So I have y equals x plus 8 squared. And then 64 minus 64 is going to be 0. So now. All they're asking you to do is find the vertex. So we know it's in this format. Remember, vertex is h comma k. 
So in this case, your vertex is h comma k. Remember, it's always the opposite. So your final answer is negative 8 comma 0. Yes? It's OK. There's multiple ways that you can go through these problems and do it, um, especially like 